Hello, everyone, and welcome to the University of New Haven's virtual program. Thank you so much for signing in and for joining us online today. For one of our first topics today, we'll talk about a few of the exciting recognitions that the university is so proud of. You'll see a number of seals up on our screen, but a couple that stand out include the US News and World Report ranking and Princeton Review's inclusion of University of New Haven on their list of 385 best colleges. But the most exciting seal for us as a university celebrates our 100 years of success because in 2020, the University of New Haven turned 100. Now in celebration of our centennial, there's a few exciting benefits that our incoming students will be taking advantage of. Uh, one of the major benefits is a brand new academic building on our campus, the Burgamy Center for Science, Technology, and Innovation. A major hallmark of the University of New Haven is hands-on and experiential education. And this new facility will be focusing on just that. It will include spaces for collaborative learning, studios, labs, maker space, et cetera, for our students. Our location is in West Haven, Connecticut, so right outside the city of New Haven. Uh, back in our, our founding in 1920, we were actually in downtown New Haven. When we originally started, we were considered an offshoot of Yale University. Um, in about 1960, though, we moved one town over to suburban residential West Haven, where it was a little bit easier for us to expand, add residence halls, new buildings, etc. West Haven is home to a great stretch of shoreline and beaches, and we have that great residential community right around our campus. But at the same time, our students have access to the city of New Haven, just down the road, and in the larger cities of New York and Boston, just a short uh, car ride or train ride away. Our students enjoy hopping on the student shuttle through the university, which would take them to downtown New Haven if they'd like to check out a show, a concert, eat world famous uh, pizza in New Haven, or have one of the original hamburgers at Louis Lunch. Students can also take that shuttle right over to the train station in town. They can be on a train into Grand Central Station in just a few short moments from our campus and wind up in Grand Central in about an hour and a half, or head up towards Boston in just over two hours. University of New Haven has about 5,000 undergraduate students, so we're not a tiny institution, but we're not large either. It gives our students a chance to meet new faces in their classes and in their residence hall, but still have a great sense of community on campus. Going along with that, we actually have over 100 academic programs for our students to choose from. They're spread across five different colleges, and we'll talk a little bit about those shortly. In addition to those academic programs and majors, there's another 85 minors and certificate programs that our students can choose from at the university. Now, while we're here today to primarily focus on our undergraduate options for students, those four years of college fly by and quickly you're a senior and you're thinking about employment and graduate school. So we like to put it on your radar that we have over 35 unique graduate programs at the university. And we actually have you start thinking about that pretty early on because we offer unique options for dual degrees. So think a four plus one or a three plus two, where you can combine your undergraduate coursework with a master's degree. There are several benefits to graduating from college with your master's in addition to your bachelor's. For example, higher starting salaries, additional job options. So we have a number of these dual degrees in place for our students to choose from. You can check out the full list by visiting newhaven.edu slash dual degree. Our average class size at the university is about 22. Uh, we're not a college that has a lot of these really big lecture spaces uh, where you're floating head in the back of the room. A lot of our classes are very small in size where you get personalized attention from our faculty. And all of our classes too, I should mention, are taught by faculty members. Um, so folks from industry, academia, et cetera, are the points of contact for your classes. Now outside of the classroom, there's actually over 200 clubs and organizations for our students to be a part of. Um, some of the most popular ones include our marching band, Greek life, and many more. 
Now, those four years of college, like I said, will go by before you know it. And if you are already thinking about what you'll be doing for your career and everything post-college, um, we're really excited to share with you that University of New Haven students are very successful beyond their years uh, at our university. That 97% of the students from the class of 2018 reported back to, the, to us that within a year, they were employed in a related field or enrolled in graduate school. And that success, yes, is due to the hard work of our students, but also the folks on campus that work so hard to connect our students to industry, such as our career development office, that really starts right at the beginning. They're in your first year classes, they're connecting you with internship opportunities, and they've actually been recognized as an office as one of the top in the country by the Princeton Review. Now we're the New Haven Chargers. You'll catch a glimpse of our mascot, Charlie the Charger, a little bit later in today's presentation. Um, but you'll see a little bit of information that helps to describe our demographic at the university. Um, you'll see that about 40% of our students come from the state of Connecticut, but the majority actually come from outside of the state. Certainly we're popular in our neighboring states. So New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, uh, but truthfully, you'll see students enrolling at the university from across the country and around the globe. You'll see that over 41 different states and 55 foreign countries are represented. Also, our faculty are a very important part of our university community. Of course, more than 90% of them do hold the terminal degree offered in their fields. But one of the things that makes our faculty so unique is the experience that they bring into the classroom. So many of them have worked in the field for a number of years or perhaps still work in the field and they bring that expertise right into the classroom for you. The majority of our students do choose to live on campus. So about 90% of our first year class typically resides on our campus in West Haven, Connecticut. When you tour our campus, we'd be happy to show you our different residence halls, but also on our website, if you visit newhaven.edu slash virtual, you can take a virtual tour of the different first year residence halls that we have on campus. You'll see that we have one traditional residence hall. Um, all of the other halls for first year students are suite style. And then on campus for upperclassmen, there's also apartment style housing to choose from. As a first year student, you'll be presented with the opportunity to choose one of our living learning communities or LLC for short. Living learning communities give our students a chance to live in a certain area of a residence hall that's particular to a certain major that they've declared, a activity that they're a part of, or a shared interest group. These do fill up first come first serve, so I'll talk about some of the benefits of submitting your application on the earlier side and priority placement in our living learning communities is certainly a great benefit of early acceptance and being able to uh, make your decision to enroll at the university sooner. Now, like I mentioned, there's over 100 academic programs at the University of New Haven. We won't be able to go through all 100 programs today, but I do urge you to take a look at all of the events that we offer uh, throughout the year that would give you a chance to dive deep into that major of your choice. Uh, maybe you're interested in our marine biology program and we can take you out into the field to shadow our first year introduction to marine biology course. Uh, maybe you're interested in pursuing engineering or cybersecurity. We do some particular days for that program. But across the board, we are very much focused on the hands-on and experiential education component of all of our majors here at the University of New Haven. You'll see that internships are required for over 85% of our majors at the university. And in addition to that, we look for students to complete other opportunities for building their resume while they're a student. Now, in addition to that, we have many students that think about going on to professional school. So there's an exciting pre-medical studies program where students of, of all different majors actually um, could apply to be part of pre-medical and seek guidance from our Health Professions Advising Center on campus. Likewise, we have a fantastic pre-law program, often very popular for students pursuing criminal justice or our legal studies program. Students may be invited to join our honors program at the University of New Haven. Uh, some of the benefits of our honors program include a little extra scholarship money, 
uh, priority course registration, honors living learning community, and much more. Now I mentioned that hands-on learning is a big part of all programs at University of New Haven. And one of the ways we bring that to life is by having our students get involved in more than just the classes and the theory right on our campus. We actually require each student to pursue one of the four areas that you see on our screen today. That could be faculty mentored research, internships or co-ops, service learning, and study abroad. So we guarantee that each student from University of New Haven certainly will graduate with their diploma and a wealth of knowledge about their program, but they're guaranteed to have a resume too because of all the experiences that we build in as part of the curriculum. Study abroad is an exciting one that students love to take part in. Uh, we actually have our own satellite campus in Prado, Italy, which is right in the Tuscany region, where students can study abroad as early as their first year at our Tuscany campus. I should mention too that the cost is the same for students studying at our Prado campus as it is for students studying at our West Haven, Connecticut campus. Any of your scholarship or financial aid can be used at our satellite campus. Student life is a huge part of the college experience. Now with over 200 clubs and organizations, all of our students are bound to found, find something that they're passionate about and will help them to build community at the university. Um, you'll see a few of our most popular organizations up on the screen today. Um, our marching band with close to 300 members and scholarship opportunities. Um, our Greek organizations, there's over 17 different Greek fraternities and sororities on campus dance team, cheerleading, athletics, and much more. For students interested in our ROTC program, we offer Army right on our main campus, and then we offer the opportunity for students to join Yale's Air Force ROTC. With athletics, we're Division II, so we're in the Northeast 10 Conference. You'll see about 17 different varsity level teams offered at the University Division II level. In addition to the Division II sports, there's a number of club sports, which are still competitive and, competitive and traveling, that are offered at the university level. Campus safety is a very important topic that I urge you to think about as you visit different colleges. A couple of unique features for University of New Haven's campus safety. Um, one, in addition to the great smartphone app that students can download on their phone and have with them at all times. We still offer the blue light system too, so in case you don't have your cell phone on you, you're covered either way if you need to get in touch with campus safety. Our department too is one of very few that offers tier two accreditation, and there's a lot of opportunity um, to get involved with campus safety if you are interested in an internship, perhaps you're a criminal justice major. Now for the final part of today's presentation, we will cover the application process, scholarship and financial aid, and ways to stay connected with the University of New Haven. For students who will be applying to the university directly from high school, we'll begin by discussing the application materials that are required. First, you'll fill out the common application with essay. And additionally, we'll be looking for your official high school transcript and at least one letter of recommendation from an academic source, such as a teacher or a school counselor. Now you'll notice that we are a test optional institution, so SAT or ACT scores are not required in order to apply for students that are enrolling for the fall 2021 semester. If you're a student who will be applying later, maybe fall 2022 and beyond, be sure to check back with us as we may make some edits to our test optional policy. But overall, please know that we are a test optional institution. So there are ways to be admitted to the university and additional programs without your SAT or ACT scores being considered for admission. Now there's many different timelines and deadlines to be aware of when applying for college. At University of New Haven, we offer one binding form of admission and then three non-binding forms of admission. So what we're looking at here, early decision, is our one form of binding admission. This is for a group of students who know that they're 100% planning to attend University of New Haven if they are accepted. We are beyond their number one first choice and they're comfortable with submitting a contract and completing an interview for candidacy for early decision. 
please note the deadlines. There's an application deadline for fall of senior year of about December 1st in order to submit the application and coordinating materials. We promise to get back to students applying early decision with a decision by December 15th. And then February 15th is the deposit deadline for students who have applied and been accepted through our binding early decision program. Our most popular forms of admission though are early action because these are our non-binding forms of early admission. Early action one has a deadline for applying of December 15th of senior year and early action two offers a February 15th deadline of senior year. From there, students who apply via Early Action 1 or Early Action 2 uh, receive a pretty quick decision on their application. We read our applications on a rolling basis. So the sooner your application and materials are submitted, the sooner we can get back to you with a decision. But we guarantee that if you adhere to the December 15th deadline, you'll hear from us by January 15th. Likewise, if you adhere to the February 15th deadline, you'll be hearing from us no later than March 1st. And then you have all the way up until May 1st to get you to National Decision Day, which is the deadline for submitting your enrollment deposit at University of New Haven and most other colleges and universities. There are a lot of benefits to applying on the earlier side, such as early action, uh, priority consideration for our scholarships, an extended timeline to make your decision, and there's space in all of our academic programs at this time of the year. Sometimes the longer you wait. So if you wait and you apply regular decision, which is spring of your senior year, you may find that space is limited in some of our very popular programs. So it's best to consider applying earlier rather than later for admission to University of New Haven. If you're a student taking college courses or college level courses and you'd like us to consider those for credit, you're seeing a quick little guide as to what types of scores we're looking for. For advanced placement exams, a score of a three or four at a minimum is required for us to consider the score for credit. For IB, a minimum of a four, and for transfer credits, maybe you are in dual enrollment, maybe you're taking classes at a community college or other institution, we would look for a C or better. You don't need to submit these application materials at the time of your admission to the university, but later on down the road, if you're heavily leaning towards attending University of New Haven, uh, we would really love to see those AP scores, um, IB transcripts, et cetera, sent over to us to evaluate you for credit. Now the next topic we'll cover is the estimated cost of attendance. So on our screen here, you're seeing what we call the sticker price for the school year of 2020 to 2021. It was just over $58,000 a year for a residential student before any scholarship or financial aid is applied. For students who might consider commuting or living off campus, you instead would be looking at the top two lines paired together of tuition and student fees. But like I said, that's the sticker price. And we have a lot of things in place to help break that cost down, actually starting right at the time of admission to the university with scholarship. So on the screen, you see two categories of our scholarships that we award to students who've been admitted. On the left-hand side are our merit-based scholarships or academic scholarships. And then next we'll cover some of the additional scholarships that are listed on the right. But essentially, when students are admitted to University of New Haven, we automatically consider them for a merit-based or academic scholarship. You'll see the range is anywhere from $10,000 all the way up to $26,000 per year. Each of these are annual scholarships. Um, so for example, if a student receives the $20,000 Distinguished Scholar Award, that's $20,000 toward the first year, $20,000 toward the second year, so on and so forth. You receive this information uh, of your merit scholarship right at the, at the time of admission to the university. Additionally, when we are reviewing your application, first we're reviewing for admission to the university and right then at the same time that we decide that we can accept you to the university, we're also awarding that scholarship. So we are looking specifically at your 
transcript and academic information, and possibly your SAT or ACT scores if you choose to submit those. So for students who are thinking of applying test optional, they're not going to send their SAT or ACT scores, you can be eligible for this full range of scholarship, whether you apply with your scores or without your scores. Now, on the right hand side, you see a few of the additional scholarships that we can offer to students who are accepted to University of New Haven. One is our honors program scholarship. So if you apply and are accepted to the honors program, that could be an additional $1,000. If you are joining our marching band, there could be another one to $2,000. Our Pompeii College of Business sponsors a few scholarships. And then programs that uh, offer portfolio scholarships include our art and design majors, our music programs, and our communication program. Please note that March 1st is typically the deadline for some of these additional scholarships, such as portfolio and marching band. So keep that in mind as you are um, applying to the University of New Haven. If you were applying instead as a transfer student, so maybe you've attended another college or university and you'll be coming to University of New Haven after that, um, your application process looks slightly different. We'll be primarily looking for your application to be submitted online, plus any transcripts from colleges or universities that you have attended in the past. Uh, but full details are available right on our website for all application materials that are required. But please know that there are very similar ranges of transfer scholarships that are available as well. These go anywhere from 10 up to $22,000 per year. And rather than being based on your high school academics, these transfer scholarships are based on your progress at the college level. There's also an option to, if you're a member of Phi Theta Kappa, to qualify for another $2,000 on top of your transfer scholarship. Now from there, the financial aid process is kind of the next second step to determining what your cost of attendance will be. In order to offer you a financial aid package, we will need your FAFSA, which is the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. Uh, this can be submitted online during the student's uh, fall of senior year. October 1st is when that goes live. We would look for that to be submitted no later than March 1st. But again, the sooner that the FAFSA is in, the sooner that we can work on putting those financial aid packages together and sending those out. Now, you get that scholarship information at the time of admission to the university, but the information regarding financial aid comes a little bit later. So usually around February or so, you may receive information from our Office of Financial Aid. Um, that would detail anything additional that we can offer to the student and family. So that could be in the form of University of New Haven grants, federal grants, work study, loans, et cetera. We love that you're connecting with us virtually today, but we have lots of other visit opportunities that kind of rotate throughout the year that you can take advantage of. To always find out the most current list of visit opportunities that are available to you, I urge you to visit newhaven.edu slash visit. But just to highlight a couple, we offer virtual open houses throughout the year where you can connect live with faculty and deans from our academic programs. We offer some drive through campus tours where you and your family can stay safely in your vehicle, but follow a guided route and listen to a recorded version of our campus tour from the comfort and safety of your vehicle. And also we have a limited number of COVID friendly one on one campus visits. Uh, please note registration is required for most of our programs. So please be sure to go online and select a date and an event that works best for you. We hope that you'll stay connected with us beyond your visit today. We're always posting great University of New Haven updates on our different social media accounts. So be sure to follow us at U New Haven. But that wraps up our presentation for today. I thank you for spending some time with us and learning more about University of New Haven. For any questions, please feel free to contact us at admissions at newhaven.edu or give us a call. We'd be happy to connect with you directly and introduce you to your admissions counselor as well. But thank you so much for learning a little bit more about University of New Haven.